Hi, hi. How are you today? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Nice, nice. ¿Qué tal de su estudio anoche? Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? How are you? Right, thanks. Happy that it's Friday, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely. We rest a little bit tomorrow. Do you work tomorrow? Or you are free? Only, only in the morning. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. You you rest the, re, the, the rest of the afternoon. Me too. I work only the morning too. In the afternoon, I rest a little bit. Well, at least I do something different. That's nice. Vamos a ver, everybody here. Yes, yes. I'm going to start calling you. Mm -hmm. My computer is slow. She knows it's the weekend, <laughs> right? The weekend is coming soon. It one rest. <laughs> One's rest, but no. No rest for my computer until the end of November or the middle of December, right? While that, my computer will be very, very busy. Okay, Adolfo Rivas. I'm here, Adolfo. Adriana Maria. Adriana. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Teacher, I will be as listener for 30 minutes because I'm on my way to my home. Okay. Ana Alicia. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz. Nobody here. <laughs> Qué barbaridad. All the people like Paul. Well, are absent. Okay, David. Present teacher. Nice. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Nice. Carla Lorena. Carlita. Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Present. Okay, Saul Edgardo. Saul Edgardo. Sulma Janet. Present teacher. Manuel. Thank you. 
Fernando. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. A ver, I see Adolfo, you're here. Me teacher. <coughs> Adolfo, Adolfo. Present teacher, good evening. Adriana María, evening. Adriana María, Ana. Ana, Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Antonio. Primer Fabricio. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. Adolfo, póngase el nombre completo. Eh, Carla Lorena, sí me dijo present, ¿verdad? Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher, good evening. Sí, María Zulema. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Victor. Eh, vaya. Eh, Zulma, póngase el nombre completo. Solo le veo Zulma Ramírez. Tiene que ir el nombre. Sorry, completo. teacher. I forgot. Ana no Well, today is the last day of, uh, of this unit. And as it is the last day of the unit, we make a little review of the topic, right? The last topic that we were talking about in the last class, remember? We were talking about the distribution channels and we were also talking about certainty and uncertainty. And then you're going to do something to do there and you're going to be working, right? Uh, with related to the topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions about yesterday's class? Questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. Everything nice, everything clear. Yes. Everything clear at now. Okay. Hasta el examen. Okay, uh, this is the, the topic for today. It's number four, right? Compare distribution options. By the end of the unit, participants will be able to provide suggestions to their businesses. Okay, that's the topic. And remember, yesterday we were talking about certainty and also about uncertainty, right? We mentioned uh, the position of each of these uh, words inside a sentence, or that you can also use them in a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I would like to listen to you sharing information, sharing sentences using any of the words related to certainty and or uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Choose one. A ver. I, yes, Nubia. Yes, ah, so sorry. <laughs> ¿O quién era? Ana. <laughs> yes, I am, teacher. Good evening. Okay, Ana. Tell me. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
She is obviously happy. That was that we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. She's obviously happy. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. Choose one more volunteer. Yes. Um, I can see Adolfo Rivas. Okay, Adolfo. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, it's just a word and make a sentence. Okay. Um, for example, it it's possible. It's possible that tonight I will be. Uh, I will. I will do my homework. Okay. In that case, you say, I will probably do. I will probably, yeah, of course. I will probably do. But we can use both words. It's possible, I will probably, or only I will probably. I will probably, only because you say. OK, good. So Thank you. It is possible that I do my homework. OK that I do my homework tonight, or I will probably do my homework. Okay, I will probably do my homework. Okay, Adolfo, choose one more volunteer. Oh, let me see. Um, Rosa Hilda Escobar. Okay, Rosy. Okay, teacher. I'm absolutely sure there will be no classes tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Yes, you cannot deny that. Good sentence. Yeah. Thank you. Rosy, choose the next one. David, teacher. Sé que está celoso. David. David, David. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Okay, uh, who number, teacher? Uh, you choose. Okay. Uh, uh, we are double the best students. Okay, we are undoubtedly the best students. Thank you, David. Choose one more, David. Uh, uh, Carla, Carlita. Carlita. Thank you, David. <laughs> Para que no se sienta solita. Bye. <laughs> Not to miss. Yeah. Um. It is. It's possible. Uh -huh. um, it's it's uh, it's possible uh, today. I finish the homework. Okay, it is possible that I finish the homework today. today. Mm -hmm. Remember expression of time or at the beginning or at the end, right? Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Good. Check. Remember, uh, in these days, we have been talking about distribution channels, right? And we know that when talking about distribution channels, we were making the retailer, the wholesalers and many others, right? So we have some more vocabulary for you to add to this topic and check this. Retail, there are a few different types of retailers, right? And it's essential to understand uh, the differences between or before you decide where to sell your product. The most common types of retail stores are department stores, that are larger, what department stores can you mention that you know? Mm -hmm. 
I I heard about uh, in the advertisement about the Siman. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. It's a department store. Exactly. Siman. I, I I always I always I ask myself why. Because the all the things that they they sell, they have a department for men's men's clothes, right? Uh, okay. Men's clothes for children's clothes, for mm. for a sport, yeah, for men's. Okay. They have departments for each uh, for each of the things that for they fragrance for toys. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Thank you for the home. Yeah. Classes, right? Mm -hmm. So everything is divided in departments. That's why they are a department store. Okay. Also, uh, Sears, right? Sears can be called a department store too because they have different departments for the different types that they sell. Yeah. We have also general stores that carry various products in multiple departments. So that can also be classified as a general store. They sell everything and they are divided in different departments, such as clothing, cosmetics, appliances, and things. So we can classify it as general store too. Right, because they have cosmetics, an area for perfumes, an area for clothes, different types of clothes. <laughs> Clothing, well, appliances, and different types of things. Even uh, books, right? Okay, now we have also the wholesale. We said the wholesaler is a company that buys products from the manufacturers and distributes them to retailers. And they usually specialize in a particular product type, such as clothing, cosmetics, or electronics. So they buy big quantities, but they specialize in something. So if they say, okay, we're going to sell clothes, only clothes, or we're going to sell cosmetics, just cosmetics. Or if they say we're going to sell electronics, they sell only electronics because they specialize in one particular product. Wholesalers can offer better prices than retailers because they buy in bulk and have lower overhead costs, right? So that's a good reason for them to sell uh, cheaper. As they buy big quantities, they can sell to the retailers a uh, cheaper. Also, another channel that we have is online channels. This is new with the modernization that we're having. It, many of these uh, channels already existed, but after the pandemic, everything became more common, right? Before, if you wanted to buy a house, you were thinking about uh, marketplace, right? Oh, you were thinking about, uh, do you remember any other place for buying a house? I don't remember right now. Mm -hmm. Online? Uh-huh. Tell me. Um, <clears throat> online? Um, Amazon, eBay. Houses, houses. Oh. For buying houses. Um. Oh, I sell it, teacher. Real, real estate. Aha, uh -huh, but but is that a is that a page where you can enter and see houses? I remember I used the one, but I don't remember. Yeah, a, a local service in El Salvador is um, it's on Facebook, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Encuentra, Kubi. Yeah, Encuentra. 
one. That's one. Yeah. But do you say for to buy a house? To buy. To yeah. buy. Uh -huh. yeah. I use thinking that. And Walmart? No, houses. Houses. Mm -hmm. No things for the house, but houses. Houses. Uh, building. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I remember I used one, but I don't. And I don't remember the name. OLX. OLX. Yeah. But is the thing now that in OLX is that com. It, does it exist or no more? No more. No more. It's going Encuentra. Yeah. Encuentra 24. Yes. yes. Okay. So you see, it was easy and it was common. You wanted to, to, to buy a house or you went around and you told all the friends you wanted to buy a house and they said. Uh, house for rent and house for sale. Uh -huh. and it has, I, in, in the internet, it's another one that it's City Max. City Max? Uh huh. Okay. But they say that are uh, for rent and sale. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. But probably- but the most... for, for El Salvador too? Uh-huh, which one? For this for El Salvador. Okay. So you see, though, it, it, they began with this thing of spelling online, right? So well, at least showing you the, the, the house online. It, 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 and then uh, it became common for people to look for a house there. Fine. Other uh, platforms that we had, right, where they can sell products or services are e commerce, e commerce platforms like Shopify, or you can use online stores like Amazon or eBay. Has somebody bought anything through Amazon here in El Salvador? How expensive is it to buy something through Amazon? Um, depend uh, of the products. Mm -hmm. But sometimes uh, the shipment is so expensive than, than the products. Uh -huh, exactly. That's what I want to know about the shipment. Yeah. What, what about the cheating? How much is the cheating? Um, I guess uh, the HL provided and the HL cost around $25. 25 dollars hmm. Safe? Is it safe, Mauricio? Yeah, $25. 25 dollars 25 No, is it safe? It is safe. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, they are showing to save. Okay, okay. Also, uh, well, those are a form of distribution, right? And the chat internet lets us connect customers directly through social media platforms. And for example, Facebook. Facebook is very common for buying and selling things. So, background. Okay, so we have social media platforms can be a great way to be loyalty and create repeat customers. And the best thing is that eh, you can give a, a, a feedback, right? Or you, you can say if you like the product and people, when, I, when they are looking for, for something, they see the comments of others. And if the comments are good, people say like, hmm, it has good comments. It has five stars, so I can use it, right? So that's another, uh, a good way for building loyalty and for getting customers to, to buy again, again, and again, right? 
Okay. Um, another, we have sales teams. Sales teams can be organized in various ways. That most commonly, they are divided into regional or national, national teams. And then into smaller teams that cover specific areas or products. Uh, so you have, for example, some of these companies that sell products through catalogs, right? Mm -hmm. So they have teams of people and the people go, they have a, a front line, right? It's a front line company. So they have a lot of people that go to the houses, they knock at the doors, they show you the magazine, they visit you at work, they visit you wherever you are, and they share the magazine. And they, uh, these, they use representatives, right, for selling the products. And that can impact a product success or failure, depending on the type of people that you have as a team how well they are going to look for selling the product or not, right? And one last is the agency. Marketing agencies help you create and execute marketing campaigns for brands. So you have your brand, you have your product, you don't know how to sell it. You look for somebody, you look for an agency to help you sell your product, right? They have broad reach and can help you get a product in front of the right people. So as they know many people, they have contacts, they know where to take your product so it becomes success. And, it be, uh, and people can get to know your product, right? But that is through agencies. Any question here? No questions? Okay, that is talking about distribution channels. Now check, you're going to work in groups and you're going to complete this, uh, this chart as a group. Remember, we're talking about distribution channels and you can get to think about the different uh, types of distribution, uh, distribution channels that we have, right? Check. It says, look at the distribution channel decision matrix. And you have here possible channels. We were already mentioning a couple of them. Uh, will customers buy its product and brand? its organization, profit potential. These are some of the, uh, well, this is the matrix, right? The channel decision matrix that you're going to complete with this information as a group. As a group, uh, see who you are, right? Excuse me. Tell me. Could you show us again the, the chat, the... That is, in the, that is in the manual, Anna. Ah, okay. I just want to tell you that I don't understand what it means, fits product and brand fits organization. Fits product and brand. Si encaja el producto y la marca. Mm -hmm. Y si encaja la organización. That's fit. In this case, organization is a, a like a teamwork, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a company that you can oh. that you okay. can like could be a retailer, right? A retail mm -hmm. store that would be the organization. Mm -hmm. Retailer, no, no, could be possible channels. Yeah, but there here you tell me the name of this. Oh, sorry, McLean the name of the store right here you will put the name of the store if you say it here you're using a retailer store what store simang a department store right so you can say that would be simang or i will sell it in in a in super in a supermarket or i will sell it in a 
in what type of place or with what type of organization will you sell it? Yeah, so those are decisions that you will make related to the following check. You are a product of a, a group of farmers, right? You're not making clothes, you're not making anything else. You are a group of farmers with high-end products who want to expand out of the local market. At the moment, you have been producing your vegetables and selling them just there in the local market. But one day you say, no, come on, that's all. We want to go further. We want, we have the, the products are finished, are ready. We have already harvested. Our product is high quality and we want to expand, right? And we know we, have, we are capable of going further farther than the local market. Then with this information, remember you are farmers. You are no pharmacists, you're not, uh, okay. you're not sellers of food, any other type of food, you're farmers, right? And then you will do the following. Fill in the possible distribution channels you could use to make the business grow. You want to sell, you decide as farmers, uh, what is your product if you're selling vegetables, fresh vegetables, or if you want to sell corn or beans, you already got your corn, you already harvested, right? And you have corn, you have rice, you have my sillo. <laughs> and beings. And now you want to sell your product, but you don't want to sell it in the local market. You want to go farther. But for you to make your business grow, you're going to complete this chart, right? Thinking about the distribution channels that you could use to make your business grow. Also, you use the matrix above and answer the questions for each option with yes or no. Right? Yes or no. If you say, for example, a possible channels retailer, right? Will customers buy? Mm, probably yes. Fits product and brand? Mm, fits organization with this retailer that you're putting here? Yes or no? It's a profit potential, and you can say mm, probably. It's not enough, it's not what I wish I could get more. Then you're getting to answer each of the questions related to the channels that you suggest in there, right? Then you choose the channels that have an affirmative answer to every question and think if it will be the best choice for the business. What will be the best choice for your business? You choose it and bring your chair to the class. And you say, why do you think that is the best choice for your business? Okay. I don't know if you have any question here. Questions? Everything. Okay, nice. Bashal, okay, everything, okay, Anna. <laughs> Nothing, did <laughs> just. Oh. Because if you say everything, everything clear or everything, no? Okay, we will go to the groups. Let's see your chat. You're only 15. My goodness, what happened to everybody? We're missing a lot of people. But I'm going to send you in trios. Yeah? I'm going to send you in trios for you to organize. Five groups. There we go. Join. And remember, you are farmers. You, know, you don't do anything else. You are farmers, right? And as farmers, you're going to complete the information. There you go. Join, join. Okay. 
José Alfredo, José Alberto. Y casualmente me han quedado en el mismo grupo. Todo. Uh, doing a distribution, well, metrics below about distribution channel. Okay. So the teachers say that we are uh, pharmaceutical, right? No, farmers. 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 I just get a teacher. Uh, we could sell potatoes. <laughs> um, potatoes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's check. I okay. have the material here. What are you going? Going. Where are you going? You were on the page. Are you? Okay. Okay. Uh, what well, organization? First, we need to uh, do the, put the specific uh, product. In this case, it's potato. So okay, here potato. You can put uh, uh, maybe uh, if we put the, the possible channel as a retailer. Again, retailer. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Will customers buy? Uh, probably. Yes. Yes. Oh, probably yes. Ah. Why? What's your Why? What, what's your product? We are farmers. Aha, uh -huh, but what are you going to sell? Because you know, okay. farmers can do what? Uh, mm? Eggs. Eggs. Okay. Meal, cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will Fins customer buy? Probably yes. I got it. Distribute, distrib, distribute. That's correct. The spell. Okay, T-shirt. In will customer buy? So we are explaining about our product. Will customer or... buy your product? Yes or no? To the retailer. Mm -hmm. You say yes. Oh, yes. What are yes. you selling? Potato. 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 Okay, okay. Definitely. Okay. It's a basic need. Potatoes. With S. Y le va a poner e pungales. <laughs> yeah. Potato. Yes. It's correct? Yes. Potatoes. Okay. Will, will customers yes. buy the potatoes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I am thinking in Spanish. So. Will that fit your product, uh, fits product and brand? We don't have brand, but we have a product. But you can think of a brand for your potato. Hello? Normally, when you sell for a vegetable, no brand. you have brands. No, no, no. no. Yeah. No, no, yes, you can have yeah. a have a brand offered in the supermarket so in the malls. You can have a brand. No, I say in the in the country. Normally, you don't have brand when you sell a vegetable. You normally put your name. Mm, so, that's, your brand. that's your brand, your name. 
I teacher, I I want to ask you something about the fits organization. What do you mean when we say that? If but you're talking about the retailer, retailer, right? Right. Yes. Okay. And your product you said is eggs, milk, and cheese. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. The will customers buy your product, the eggs, milk, and cheese? Probably yes. Will your product fit? Would does it the retailers, right? Thinking about the retailers, does it fit with your brand and with your product? Yes. Does that retailer fit with the organization? Your organization. Um, mm -hmm. our organization. Your organization. Oh, uh huh. With the retailers. With the retailers. Does it does it fit with your organization? Yes. We can put only yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Will it give you a potential profit? Yes, of course. Hmm? Yes, of course. Because I don't, we don't have to uh, worry about the product, uh, sell the product because the retailer is going to. The retailer is going to do it for you. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It is a less cost for us. Yeah. Only the distribution could be, right? Mm -hmm. Transportation of the product. Okay. Only one line. No, may choose other channels. Ah. And at the end, you will see which is the best channel for your product. But uh, with the same product. Yeah, with the same product. Oh. What will change are the channels. And then you will answer the questions relating your product <laughs> with that channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Fits organization. Um, teacher. Hola. I have a tough. Yeah. When when we talk about the fits organization, in this case, we are a, a, a tomato farmer. Okay. We produce tomato, and, and our possible channel is retailers, right? Okay, yes. And the will customer buy, of course, everybody use uh, tomato in the kitchen, right? Everybody uses. Everybody uses, yeah. Um, fits product and brand. It is necessary. I don't know is it is if it possible or correct, but we can we we think it is necessary to distinguish varieties or what kind of um oh what can we do or oh, we put there by in fits organizations you are a tomatoes organization does your organization fit with selling your product to the retailers in caja that type of business um mm -hmm. uh, I think so, but I, I have a I have a doubt because it's not uh, the most appropriate to to talk about the farm productions because uh, I think that uh, this chart is focusing in in another kind of product, but it is possible to to talk with anything or everything. I think so. No, only farmers. Only farmers, okay. You have a high-end product. That means usted ya tiene un producto terminado, que ya tiene marca, ya tiene fama, ya está. Yeah. 
no es cualquier granjero que va empezando a cultivar. Ok. Ella tiene nombre. Ok. Mm -hmm. Everything is clear. That's why it says that, it, that you have a, with a high-end product. O sea, no es cualquier farmer que ahorita voy a empezar a cultivar. No, esa... Uh... Ya tiene fama, ya tiene nombre. Ok. So you have an organization of farmers, right? You are, a, remember, you are not one farmer. You are a group of farmers. Yeah, we are tomatoes limited, for example. Exactly. So you are okay. a group of farmers, so you are organized and your product is, is good product, it's finished, right? Yeah. It's not like I'm going to see how many tomatoes I cultivate. No, you know that every season, we can say, you could Yeah, big all year. Uh -huh. Permanent. Permanent productions. Permanent yeah. production. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fits organization. Yeah, of course. We are uh, Tomatoes Limited. Okay. We are Tomato. Tom Tomatoes. Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Como van? Uh, Discutiendo allí. En los <laughs> <laughs> but Brenda can explain us. <laughs> oh, no. uh -huh, but vegetables is too general. Like what vegetables? Oh. All vegetables. Vegetables. What is retail cheese? Retail channel. Retail. Ah. <laughs> it's contracted, child. It's contracted. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't know where where can I do little the, the letters, the, the font. Oh, no. No idea. We have to choose one vegetable or, or one fruit. Uh, if you're selling vegetables, go with the same product for the two channels. Because at the end, what you're going to see is a which channel is the best for you? Uh -huh. um, By a, the, that channel that you have chosen fits with your product and your brand, yes or no? So you put yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. And on top, you're going to write what is the product that you're selling as farmers, right? Because you're selling the same product to all the channels. The only thing that you're going to see, if, which is the best channel for you to distribute your product. Okay, and then, then the all products is the vegetable. Avocado, for example. Hmm. Or sapote. Or pota potato what is the vegetable. Sapote. Like a comparison of potential channel. Excuse me. The, al final, the, I, es como comparar what is the best channel for the business. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me an example of which product you want to sell? Uh, exactly. Not so general uh, vegetables. We have to decide one. Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. David, do you like tomatoes? 
Yes, tomato. Yes, 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 I like tomato. Tomato, vea. The red tomatoes. Is that correct, the way that I write it? Yes. I wrote it. Yeah. Teacher, do you know about sales and things like that? About selling? Yeah. My, my, my curso de especialización in the licenciatura was entrepreneurs. And I used to sell since I was a child. I was always selling something. Because I used I used to like well I liked having money, so I I was always selling something. My mom says that I started selling things when I was about eight years old. Really, I used to sell tiste. Uh, tiste. Uh, I remember tiste. My mom toasted the 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 corn. Uh huh. She took it to the meat, to the meal, and then she made the bags of, of tifte for me, and I went around selling. But I told her that I wanted to sell that, so she just helped me to, to do what I wanted to, to, to sell. Later on, when I was about 12 years old, I remember that I used to go to a bakery. I bought pan frances. And I went around the neighborhood selling, <laughs> selling the bread. Then later on um, at work, there, were, there was a, a, a man near my house where I live who worked in a bakery and he made semita pacha, but like the one that you buy in, in, in San Martin or at the Kleña, but like that and very special. And I remember that I used to buy one thing like this big. I cut it in pieces and I sold it every, I was like three days a week. I took bread to my to my work and I sold it all. And also on Saturdays, I used to take sandwiches to work and I sold them all. There was a time when I made even bread with beans, bread with fried eggs or whatever and I was thinking whatever I had I found and I sold everything at the end <laughs> I had in my job like a mini store where you could buy if if somebody wanted a present they knew I had something so I had a lot of things and for decoration a pencils with different things uh, and I sold them there at, at work I had a locker full of things for selling so I, I have I have liked to to sell things and then at the university well I finished selling Avon, Evel, Tyson and I was selling all those things but now I don't sell anything. I have no time. <laughs> I am dedicated to be a teacher only. And why, why don't you study at sales? Mm, because I love my job. I like what I do. And at the at the university, because the the as I had to do or thesis or project or or uh, Curso de especialización. Then I decided to choose that course, and then I took emprendedurismo. So that was for about ten months, and there is where I studied all these topics that we're studying now. That I like what I do, and so that's why now finally I have dedicated just to teaching, because uh, having or. A business, even if it is mini, it takes time, right? So now I don't sell anything. I buy better. <laughs> I don't sell anymore. <laughs> but in the past, I used to. I used to. I used to have a little more time. 
now no more i'm kind you, of you you became to a consumer i became a consumer yes <laughs> i i showed you the product that i buy regularly but i don't sell it right i just buy what others sell to me <laughs> yeah but yes that's nice Aha, vamos a ver. So you have the whole sales. All the answer, the, does it uh, fit with your brand? What is the name of your brand? Remember that you're not just one farmer. You are an organization. You are a group of farmers. And when it says that you have a high, high end products, that means that you have you are well known right you are well known you're not just the farmer that began to that said oh i want to sell my tomatoes somewhere else no you have a name right you have a name and you are a group of farmers so you are an organization yeah we are, we are thinking our name aha uh -huh, exactly Mm -hmm. But maybe it's the Farmers Association. Mm -hmm. Farmers Association. Okay. Vaya, what do you think? Salvadorian Farmer oh, Association. Farmer Organics. <laughs> Organic, whatever that says organic, sells very expensive, right? Now, if you tell people, ah, oh, you know what, but these are organic. Yeah, it's a, it's a idea of the new time. Exactly. And it sells very much. Yeah, yeah whatever, whatever you want to, you want to sell now, if you say it is organic, it is an <laughs> organic product, people go like, okay, I want it, right? Teacher, but excuse me, uh -huh. tomatoes are organic. <laughs> no, but I mean, when we say organic, that means that you are not using... Uh, Insecticidas, no, perdón, este... Uh -huh, exactly, those types of things that are contaminating. No right. inyecto los tomates para que se hagan más grandes ni nada de eso. Exactly. exactly. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I planted in the pandemia, I planted to make <laughs> my mini garden that I have and I got cherries. <laughs> I guess here the, 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 the soil is horribly bad. So I planted tomatoes and I got uh, cherries. I planted potatoes that were like this and I got potatoes babies. <laughs> I planted uh, green peppers and they were like this, like if they were jalapenos. Now I have planted whiskeyless. I don't know what type of whiskeyless I will get because. Uh, it's very cool. I I just was planted a vaca. And oh, I used to it's have that. Delicious. Yes. And it's very delicious because you want to eat something. You've got cut the leaves and, and you can easily prepare your food. Definitely. Cebollin. I used to have cebollin too. How are you? Yes, cebollin is very delicious too. Onions. Radishes, teacher. What did you say? Radishes. Radishes. Oh. I have never planted radishes. And yes, I solo savila porque ella solita se crece. I, yes, I have savila too. And I have a plant that I have no idea what it is. But it looks beautiful, so it's okay. It can stay there. It's a bejuco. <laughs> Like like my plantitas. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it has gone big and it's this 
it's like my my tail it's thick and and it has gone all around the the tuya that i have in front and uh, it is very very big but i have no idea what it is because i threw there some seals of a uh, paste pepino watermelon and melon so at the end i have no idea what plant went out of those seeds so it can be whatever but it but it disappears uh, and then it appears again every single year it appears again so right now it is very big but i don't know what it is no idea and nobody knows so i don't know i i i will look for for the leaves maybe right taking a picture of the leaf i can check in internet to see what it is because I don't know. But it looks beautiful there, so it can be there. Bye, I'm going to give you one more minute for you to finish, and then I will call you to check attendance. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. We are going to decide the name. Excellent. Mm hmm let's see how many now oh. well, teacher i see i i believe the room took me out i <laughs> i i call you okay okay mm -hmm. 15 seconds Push. 15 seconds I have my big farm next to me. This is very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. But I guess everybody here, right? Let's see. Um, Tell me present, right? Tell me present. And before we chair, Adolfo Rivas. Adolfo. No, Tiene apagado el micrófono, Adolfo. <laughs> okay. My Hilda, can you help me with the presentation? Present, present, present. Attendance. You have to say present. Tell me present. <laughs> present. Ah, okay. Attendance, right. Yeah, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah. yeah, because it's nine. Adriana <laughs> Maria. Adriana Maria. Hola. Nota. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. Cruz, Cruz, Cruz. No hay. David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin Adonai, Kevin, 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 no hay Kevin. Mauricio. Tell me, teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl. 
tell me if it's raining in your house. Is it raining? No. Not here. Okay. It's also not Okay. I hear some sound, but as I don't know because I'm inside. I don't know if it is the fan or if it is the rain. Sulma? Present. Victor? Victor? No, Victor. Fernando Enrique? Present. Who is Fernando Enrique? Fernando? I am. Where are you? I'm here. Ah, okay, Fernando. Okay. Eh, Fernando, Fernando, no me suena. A ver si ya lo relaciono con el rostro. Rosy. Rosy. Present. Excellent. Okay. Vaya, Adolfo, hoy sí. You can tell us. <laughs> I know you're willing to share. Adolfo. Oh, oh yes. Hilda, help no, me no, with the presentation. Ya no, ya no quiero teach. <laughs> Joel, who are you? Okay, vaya, Rosy. Who's Here. the one? Okay. Mm -hmm. My group is uh, me, Hilda, and Jovel. Jovel. Where are you, Jovel? No, este... Jovel era el apellido del papá o algo así. Yes. No. No, ah, no. Sí. no. José ah, Corea Jovel. Ah, right. sí, sí, sí. sí. Yes. <laughs> okay. We are, um, we are a company, a tomato company. Eh, Campo Fresco Tomato. Yeah. And we think that the possible channel retailer is is one of the two channel we are we we choose mm -hmm. and will customer buy our product uh, when we are talking about the retailer i think we we think so that everybody use tomato in the kitchen for that is um, is an effective channels um fits products and brands uh, it's necessary to, in this case, we are we are tomato producer. Uh, it's necessary to divide or to choose some varieties according to the market, right? And fits organization, yeah, because uh, because uh, um, because uh, we have to be a strong uh, on the market, right? And um, profit potential, it's, um, uh, we have to take in account that tomato is a healthy product. It's a massive consumption product for the people. Mm -hmm. Now, Rosa and Arnoldo, if you want to, to read something. Other possible channels is wholesales. Uh, will customer buy? Yes, by the retailers. And fits products and brand? Yes, because the brand position is elemental on the market. Mm -hmm. Fits organization? Yeah, because to do business organization is necessary. And profit potential? Probably, probably high because of retailer contribute to the brand promotion. Mm -hmm. Very good. High, right? High because when you sell it to the wholesale, they sell it to the retailer. And that means you're selling a biggest quantity. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see, Rosie, choose another one. Who? Hi, teacher. Mm, Anita? Just tell me a number. Tell me two, three, oh. or five. 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 Anna, Brenda, David, and Carla. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Sorry, David. 
<laughs> okay. Tengo una mía. Bien, that will help us. Very good eye, eh? Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> if she has said I want to choose the group with his baby, then I okay. that, right? Okay. Who who will chair? Brenda. I chair. Brenda ah. explain or, or Anna explain. Okay. Anna. Hey, hi. But Brenda is going to help us. <laughs> hi, I'm sorry. I I I mute my <laughs> my phone. Um we decide, I think, but this has me go out and I don't know you decide the name, but um, we are the farms organics. Possible we channel are from of, Farmer of, Salvadorian Farmer Association. Ah, ah Formador <laughs> Formador. Just tell the tell, tell the name. Salvadorian Farmer Association. Okay. Um. So. The possible channels are retain channel. Channel uh, will customers buy just because we are selling uh, um, the product we can we can buy this in this channel, and the feeds product we select see are toma are tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes. Fits organizations, uh, yes, because the the tomatoes are organic, and the the profit potentials is is the same things we are select the channel, and the two channel selects is Wallace Lace channel. Um, will customers buy? Yes, uh, the feed products and brands are tomatoes. And fits organizations is jazz. We are decide to have hold the. You are to to okay. We lost you in the end. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Anna, who's next? Two or three? Two or three. Mm -hmm. I love number three. Okay, Fernando Enrique, Jose Alfredo, Nubia, Petro. Who chairs? Nubia. Fernando. Ah, Pedro, okay. Uh, we are farmers. Uh, we produce eggs, milk, and cheese. <clears throat> and the channels we thought about, uh, it was the first uh, retailer channel. Will customers buy? Probably yes, because the product is uh, it's good. It's good. It's easy to consume. <laughs> yes. Uh, Fits product and brand. Yes, of course, because the retailer is uh, it's, uh, it's it will be it can be it can be a, a store of first necessity. Fits mm -hmm. um, organization. We think yes. Uh, profit potential yes, because we we don't have to worry about the the, the sale of the product, the care of the product, only to distribute, and, that, and that's it. And then uh, 
another channel uh, at wholesale. Uh, the customers, uh, we think, yes, they buy. Uh, fix the product and brand, yes, of course. Fix with the organization, probably not, because uh, with uh, we talked about uh, in the wholesale, uh, mayorista, mm -hmm. and that, uh, that is, oh? In big quantities. Yes, big quantities, but they, still uh, they uh, sell to uh, soap, uh, detergent, and rice, and beans, and, and another product. And the product uh, in our product can be lost in all the products that they have. And the organization also with ours cannot match. Uh, uh, profit potential? Yes, of course, because we can sell uh, in big quantities. Uh -huh. Exactly. Then uh, online store. Uh, will customers buy? Probably yes, because in these times, uh, uh, in in these days, sorry, in these days, everybody buy anything online. Uh, find products and brand, yes, because uh, we can extend the, uh, the platform mm -hmm. and we can uh, uh, make um, to our way, our taste of, of, all the, of all the brands and all the colors and everything. It's organization, yes, because the same reason. Uh, uh, profit potential, yes, because the uh, the investment of our our investment it can be um, a little, and the profit can be uh, very very good. Can be. What if uh, the last one? It was the direct channel. We can stand a, a store direct store, mm -hmm. but uh, who customers buy? Yes. Uh, fit products and brand? Yes, because it's, uh, it will be our store. Fit organization? Of course, yes. Profit potential? Probably not, because we have to, to pay all the costs to maintain of our store. Okay. That's it. Okay, thank you, Pedro. Thank you very much. And the last group, Adriana Sofia, Mauricio, and Sun. There you go. Yeah, teacher. Who will chair? You. No, so, I am going to choose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, we prepare to a uh, possible uh, distribution channel. The first is retailer. Um, the customer will buy, yes. Fit products and brand, yes. Fit organization and the organization that we choose as La Tiendona. Profit potential, uh, yes. The second, we choose a uh, distributor. Will customer buy? Yes. Feed product and brand. Feed products and brand? Yes. Uh, Feed organization. In this case, we choose super selectors. 
and feed profit profit potential and profit. yes profit potential profit potential Yeah, to sure. In this case, yes, for us. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you see uh, how your uh, business grows, right? When you use other uh, channels of distribution. Okay, well, well. Let's see, I have a couple of questions for you. What is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? And the next question, can personalized packaging and product testing be considered an extra value? What do you think? I'm going to send you back with the same group so you discuss these questions just a couple of minutes and then I take you out. We lost one group. We lost group one. Basha, there we go. You are in your manual page, let me see. Page 14 in your manual, right? Questions number one, what is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? And the other question, can personalized packaging and product testing be considered an extra value? There you go. Join, join. What page on the manual? 14. 14, page thank you. Yeah, page 14. Okay, there you go, join, join. Because, yes, to me, responsibility, because if you, responsibility is not only be on time, it means that you are going to take care of the product, be honest, but what are you, be honest, eh, delivering the product that the customer both maybe Anna, in two value in the uh -huh. responsibility and the quality because you you do uh -huh. are the well we are the responsibility but uh, the product is no no quality no no cumple no complain the, the quality yes not sell but the question is, I don't know, I, I, I am not sure. The most important value a company should get to for distribution. Uh -huh, for this the group. company is not, uh -huh, the company is not the one that, that build or made the product, just distribution, distribute the service. <sighs> Or to I, think can, I think other can be that uh, the, the product uh, delivery quickly or, or bring quickly, quickly or faster, no sé. Que lo entreguen rápido. Mm -hmm. But don't forget the, the company is products, producer, no? ¿Cómo? La, la, la empresa es productora, ¿no? Distribution. Mm, could be. Ah, yes. So it, this is only the distribution channel. Yes. Mm, uh -huh. Then is the value. Mm, 
the, the quality and the responsibility is the same in the distribution and the production. I think there are relationships in the two value. And, uh, and the quality of the distribution, it means what, David? And uh, the responsibility, for example, is the complete the order. For mm -hmm. example, in the quality, is the, the product is the perfect condition. Mm, yeah. I understood. Yes. Ok, estoy perdida. ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué no era la página 15? No, 14. 14. 14, ok. Exercise number one. Uh, what is the most important value? Mm. I think the Creo que es la calidad, ¿no? Del producto. Uh -huh. Yes, o sea, the quality and the responsibility. Uh, for me, it's the two, two values. Uh -huh. Quality. And... In the text says one, but uh, no. Or how we have the two values. Uh, Yes, the package packaging is is uh, probably very expensive, but it's a sign of better products in how the 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 brands. Uh, digamos que si ves un un producto con un empaque más caro que el producto, es seguro que el producto es mejor que vas es el mejor producto que vas a comprar, pero siempre es bastante más. Muy, muy caro. Pero si usted ve un, una envoltura rota, no la va a comprar, ¿verdad? Yes, sí. Yes. No hay bien la calidad. El, el, pa el packaging is very important. Important. Y the presentation of the product. But that's why it's good. So, for me, the most important value of, of a distribution service is the service that they are giving to you yes reference with the time and the cost okay. teacher i have a question tell me uh, would you mind if you explain to us the this question okay Question number one says, what is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? Imagine you are a company, right? And uh -huh. want to get some distribution services. So what value will you look for in that company that would give you distribution services? Ah, yeah, I understand. Not the quantity. Uh -huh. right? And the other the quantity. what a uh, can personalized packaging and product testing be considered an extra value? Extra value. For example, when they tell you, Vaya, este Pedro, I, I saw an announcement, and I'm going to put that as an example. I saw an announcement of a company in China that sells bags, right? And they sell, okay? They have no name, they have no brand, they have nothing. And they sell. If you want, we can put your logo to the bag. So you can use it to give it uh, to your customers, right? When they go buy something else, you can give it like an incentive. So that is personalized a uh, product or oh, personalized packing will be like, okay, instead of putting the product just in, in any bag, like I have these bottles here, I will put it in a bag that has the name of my company. 
Yeah, so people can see my logo or my name of my company, probably the phone number. Will that give an extra value to my product? And the product right. testing, remember that we were talking about that about two courses ago when a checking or testing if the product is in good condition, uh, is good, and it will do what it has promised to do, but it has been tested in the extreme conditions, we can say. For example, a car. I'm selling you a car, but I have tested my car, and I have taken it to the mountain because I'm telling you that you can go to the mountains using that car. So is this personalized packaging and product testing an extra value? I think it, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the people takes a, takes a responsibility to or spend time doing that and can become more attractive to right to the mm -hmm. customers. The, the customers will see a product where you have dedicated mm -hmm. some time on the packaging on doing it beautiful and they will pay more attention to something like that than if you just sell your product in a white bag, like the one I show you, like in a white bag or in a blue bag or in a red, uh, black bag and just buy it. So that gives some extra, right? Some mm -hmm. extra value to the product. See. What about the, say, the first one? What do you think? What is the most important value a company should get? The quantity? A value. Oh, value. Mm -hmm. The responsibility of delivery. Yeah, because imagine you trust, right? You trust in the company that will give you the service of distributing your product. And imagine you tell your customer the product will arrive to you within a week. But it does not depend on you only. It depends on you and the person who's, been, who's giving the distribution service. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a combination. If I can, if I do my part, but the other company don't do that, don't, don't, don't. Uh, they don't fly. They don't uh, fly with the times. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the customer, uh, he, uh, he not to buy it, buy another time to me exactly. because I, I, don't, I don't complain. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you will lose. And the customer will not say, I, that distribution service is terrible. No, they will say, Don Pedro is not responsible. Right? So that's why it is very important. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to take you out now. Okay. Let's go. Se nos quedaron. Twenty five minutes, minutes, no seconds. Okay.
Okay, tell me, what is the most important value a company should get for, a, for distribution services? What's that value? Um, Hilda, Arnoldo, and Claudia Guadalupe, and me, yes. we think that the, the most important value is, uh, is to be on time for the consumer. Punctuality. Punctuality, yes, this is the, this is the correct word. Okay, very good. Delivery on time or punctuality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, well, you know, something it comes to my mind. I remember when my father sent to, to make pants. There was a, a man who got to my house to get the, the material and he went and he said, in a week, Don Miguel, in a week, you will have your pants. Yeah, pass a week, pass two weeks, pass three weeks, a <laughs> month. Yeah. Finally, late up to the month, he was arriving. From Alibaba. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's why I say, yeah, yeah, of course, that punctuality is very important, right? Yeah. And that takes us to another value. A ver, David. In our case, teacher is a discussion mm -hmm. with my group is two value. Which is which? quality and responsibility. Yes. Yes. Why quality, David? Because teacher uh, quality is see the is see two forms in the packets. Mm -hmm. E and the product. Yes, definitely. Definitely. So if you're sending the product, it won't get broken, the customers, right? Yes. It depends on the packaging that you have put or that you have used. Yes, you know, you don't uh, buy the product, but the package is, is, is broken. If the package is open or broken, you cannot accept it. Yes. Definitely. A ver, one more group. Sulma. Sulma Sulma, what value did you mention? Okay, our group was talking about that the most important are two, the time and the cost. Uh, because you don't want to pay uh, for uh, the service too much or more than the value of the product. Exactly, that's true, that's true. Sometimes you find object, uh, products that you want to buy online, right? But the shipping is more expensive than the product. I agree with you. Okay, let's see the last one. Let me see. Novia? What value do you What is the most important uh, That. Uh, in our group, the most important value is a, a time that cost to uh, the personalized packing a product testing be considered an extra value. You will consider it an extra value. Will yes. everybody consider that an extra value? Yes, well, they mentioned a, a little bit about the packaging, right? And uh, how that is important and gives some value to the product. Okay, well, let's go to, wait, I'm going back. Go to the conversation. 
Let's listen and then I'm going to ask you to read, right? We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our product in a strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will, I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Okay, now I'm Juan and you are Saul, okay? We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Customers are not interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. Saul? You are Saul? All of you, go ahead. The only store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to our seller. It's just me. Yeah, <laughs> who, what's can, who can provide us with extra storage cap capacit capacit capacities. 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 I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our, our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible world sellers. World sellers, okay. Well, I see you're very shy here in the big groups. I'm going to send you to the mini ones. Um, I was planning that we read here, but no. Better go with your colleagues. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Jose Alfredo is somewhere. I am there you go. Join practice the conversation and then match the vocabulary in activity three. Okay. Go, go, go. Join. Jose Hernando, Jose Alfredo, Mauricio, join. For distribution options, consumers are not as interested in purchasing our product from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can previous us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option to option that allows that allows us to get our production in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consul to ask about some possible who, who sailors. Okay. La leemos otra vez para entender. Comienzo yo. Ajá. Ahora. Ajá. Va, listo. We have to revaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested, interested in portions or products from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. 
probably we need to switch to a wholesale wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacity. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our portion to our products in a strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Okay. One more time on their answer the question. Mm, get one more time because I a mí se me lengua la traba, pero. <laughs> ya somos dos. Ya somos dos. Ajá, entonces. Va. Tomen ese step. No, pero no era eso. No me mente. <sighs> para abajo. No, para arriba. Some possible uh, walls. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? No sé, Walls. Who, who, who sailors? Who sailor? Who sailor? Ok. Ok. Hall sailors. Hall sailors. Hall sailors. Hall sailors. Sí. Sorry, teacher, fíjese que vengo llegando, le estaba contando ahí el compañero que ha venido una relación, así que estoy entrando. Disculpe. Okay, sí, ya me extrañaba, Claudia. Ok. Sí, es que ahorita estábamos en. Se murió un, una persona conocida ahí. Ay, así es que estábamos ahí. Así es que lo siento que ya. Solo un rato pude estar de aquí en la clase. Qué bueno, qué bueno que logró entrar un ratito. <ríe> sí, okay. Ahora, es el turno como, como Juan. Ajá. A uh, retail outlet, outlets, maybe you can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment, uh, fulfillment service to handle your orders. I think a uh, retail outlet is, uh, mm. is with, the, with the first one. Retail outlets, while you must, uh huh. Because uh, uh, be able to get you a lower rate with retailers, I think uh, that the outlets is more cheap. You have to, uh, to sell. Uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> Casi no escucho. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Uh, creo que uh, retailer outlets it with the first one because What? when you uh, say uh, to uh, to outlets mm. you had to sell at lower prices because. Uh, Uh, the outlet is 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 more cheap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Very mm -hmm. detailed mm -hmm. all this. Okay. Okay. Who seller? Maybe you. Uh, You may have chains or independent retailers sell our product for you. And Mm -hmm. 
I think, I don't know. Into. Into. And the and car, carta, catalogos and direct mail. I don't know. You can it stop can be. Hmm? It can be. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh, and number one, retail outfits. It's okay, teacher. Ya lo vamos a checar. I don't know, Leo. A prueba y error. Cuando es así, tenemos alguna mala física. ¿Verdad? No. No, 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 no. Vamos a ver. You say the first one. No. <laughs> Vaya, eh, remember what it says in the conversation. Mm. Check the conversation gives you one. Gaviova. The United States. This is going to be Extra storage capacity. I think online sales. That it. Uh -huh, the first one. The next one is become very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler. You can provide. Mm -hmm. I, I. Algún grillito. Se podría escuchar como que no pronunciaste la as, vea. Como que solo está diciendo, it's not a strategic. Entonces, tenés que hacer una pausa para que se note que lo está pronunciando y decir, eh, the current retail store is not as strategic. Porque si tratas de decirlo como rapidito, ajá, pareciera que no pronuncias la as. Porque como la otra empieza en s, otra vez. La, la, la correcta sería, teacher, is not as as is not as strategic as mm -hmm. remember that when we have a negation that is not contracted it gets some emphasis that's why there is a, a mini pause right so you say the current retail store is not as strategic 
as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. So it's not. El not nos toma un poquito más de tiempo. It's not as it's working as. Mm -hmm. Exacto. 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 Give me, uh, tell me. La, la, <laughs> las match también las íbamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. That's what I was going to ask you if you finished. Yes. Okay. Definitely, but I don't know we, if we do yeah. the match. Okay. You don't say anything about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything about what? Oh, I don't... About uh, oh, I don't hear you. I'm sorry. I told you. About the number three. Okay. We finished number three too. <laughs> I said about that. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Mm -hmm. Let's go then. Okay. Let's go. Microphone teacher. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I always forget that when I come back, I'll come in silence. But let's see. While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Retail outlets. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> what is an outlet? A store mm -hmm. where you can buy a low price product with low prices. An Are they retailers? Yes. Look at the definition. While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Wholesaler? No, 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 no. Which one? Um, the first one, the first one. Retail outlet. While you must pay a wholesaler or retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailer. Wholesaler. <laughs> Vamos a wholesalers, exactly. Why? Why? Um, because wholesaler uh, buy a, a big quantity and they have the possibility to to sell from low price to the final consumer. Uh, or, or, to the, or to the other retailer, right? Uh, really, yes. Okay, what about the next one? You can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself 
or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders? Catalogs and direct mails. Mm. No. That was in the retailer, retail outlets. But you can stock inventory and fulfill the orders yourself. Yeah, it's on, online sales. Online sales. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, because you can you can take the product yourself or you can get a service like Mandadito, Hugo Mandadito, or any other to take your product, right? That's online sales. Now, you may have chains or independent retailers sell your product for you. Mm -hmm. You may have chains. What is a chain? Do you remember? A part of the actors of the business. Una cadena de tiendas, right? Yeah. So you may have one store here, another there, another there, and you may have those uh, chains or independent retailers sell your product for you. What is it? Retail outlets. Yes. And the last one, you can take orders over a toll free number of website URL you provide on the mail piece, or you can have customers mail order requests to you. Parallel and direct mail. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's that's it. Any questions? No questions. No. No question at the moment, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to call the last attendance before you go sleep. Uh, Adolfo. Okay. Adolfo. Present. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofía. Se perdió Sofía. Present, present teacher. Se perdió Sofía. Ok, Ana. Present teacher, do I have to stay with you? No, Adriana, Sofía le toca. Ok. You Monday. Thank you. Ok. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Kevin Adonai. Present. Okay. Kevin Adonai, no here, right? Mauricio Emilio. Good night, teacher. Nubia. Present, teacher. Pedro Luis. Present, teacher. Saúl Edgardo, Zulma Janet, present teacher, Victor, Fernando Enrique, present teacher, and Rosy, present, okay, perfect, see you, see okay. you, one day. Have a night. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the time we have to do the homework? By Monday, it should be complete. You need okay. one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.
Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Fernanda tenía cara de por qué dicen hola otra vez, vea. Ah, se escapó. Oh, wow. Bueno. Vaya. Yo tengo una duda en cuanto a la tarea, que, una de las tareas. Ajá. Porque usted me sale malo y no hay manera que lo ponga para que me salga bien, pero no sé si está mal. 1.7, ¿verdad? Esta es la... Sí. Sí, fíjese que ese ya lo revisé. Yo no sé qué tiene porque hay algo que tiene. Algo tiene, no sé qué. Porque yo entré, le puse de todo. De <risa> todo, de todo. Y no. No, 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 no. No me aceptó nada. Lo recorté de donde me muestra la respuesta y lo pegué de nuevo. No. Voy a hacer una última prueba. Fíjense que me dice la mujer. Que sí, que sí es cuestión de, de algún espacio, de algún punto. O alguna letra mal puesta. Ajá. Pero ya revisé cada letra y nada. Voy a pedir delivery. Azul. Strange. The payment is received. Uh -huh. Que ya lo uh -huh. Y la única que me que no me da paso. Sí. Vamos a ver. Yo sabe que lo copié y lo pegué tal cual está aquí. Y no. And only number two, ¿verdad? Sí, solo el dos. With the others you have no problem. No, todo el tema es también. Y esta vez sin punto. ¿Mm? Esta vez sin punto, que por lo general es con mayúscula y con punto. Exacto, pero hoy no quiere punto, porque si le pone el punto, lo pone mal. No, no, no. Ajá, esa, justo esa, la da mala. Pero no entiendo por qué. Porque se le está poniendo lo que dice que es. Uh -huh. La voy a volver a reportar, fíjese, porque sí, yo ya la reporté, pero no me han hecho caso. Vamos a ver la tarea, vea. 1.7. Y el número 2. No acepta que no correcta ninguna respuesta. Vamos a poner arroba a alguien, no sé a quién, para que me pongan atención. Bueno, 
porque sí, yo lo reporté la vez pasada, pero no sé, ya no, no me contestaron, no me dijeron nada. Entonces, vaya, ahorita ahí ya lo acabo de reportar. Adriana, esperemos que mañana lo revisen y nos, nos den una salida. Es sí, bien extraño. Sí. Bien extraño, porque si sí, ese no acepta absolutamente ninguna respuesta. Ninguna, ninguna. Si sí, yo estuve probando de todo, probé. Y no. No, no. Pues solo esa tenía la duda. Ya todas las, las demás tareas ya están completas. Excelente. Este es el último. Y los... Hasta el 1.9. 1.9. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Ajá, ahí está. Sí, one point nine, and that's the last one. And then we go for, uh -huh. and that is based on the on tomorrow's class. Tomorrow. Oh, on Monday's class. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I will see, but I'm, I'm reporting it and let's hope that by tomorrow they fix it so Monday we can have the, the 10. <laughs> okay. Right now, I guess it will give you like 96, something like that. <laughs> sí, no, me va a regañar mi mamá. Hey, yes. <laughs> Simply that you don't have 10. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you have any mm -hmm. other questions, Sophie? No. No, con los temas de esta semana, no. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Well, have a nice weekend then. Thank And you, you too. Monday. See you Monday. Monday, bye-bye. Take care.